Well, Scorpio, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be your love readings. It's going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It'll be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with everyone. Um, take what resonates, leave the rest. And if it doesn't resonate at all, then check out your other placements. Sometimes those messages can resonate more. All right, Scorpio, let's see what we have for you in love. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio, please? In regards to love. This is the Osho Zen Tarot deck that I'm using right now. I'm using it as an Oracle deck. For Scorpio, please. What messages do you have for Scorpio? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. We got morality. Especially those of you who have left such kind comments. I really appreciate it. It doesn't go unnoticed. Integration. This is reminding me of temperance. I mean, I know it's a major arcana, so I might be right about that. Morality and integration. I feel like something here is trying to come together, possibly a fire sign and a water sign. You see how there's like fire on one side, water on another. Um, you could be trying to come together with a fire sign or just trying to make something work here. I feel like some of you are trying to make something work. I feel like you are feeling tied down though with morality there. Projections. There's some sort of like confusion or it's like the fog is lifting. You're seeing something clearly this month. One more please for Scorpio, thank you. Letting go. So you might be letting go of something that you're seeing clearly. And this is a message that I'm getting for a lot of signs where what was hidden is coming, coming to the surface. What you've ignored is you, you can't ignore anymore. People are having realizations seeing things in a new light. I feel like you felt someone here um, because I am talking to either you Scorpio or the person you are connecting with or will be connecting with. Um, someone here has felt stuck in a situation, has tried to do the right thing. Um, someone here has tried to make something work. Um, I feel like they they were trying to make something work that they believed in at a certain time but it's almost like they've they've realized that they have to let go of that so let's get into the tarot scorpio let's see what's going on here for scorpio spirit what messages do you have in regards to love this is the Druid Craft Tarot deck. Um, if you're interested in any of the decks that I'm using, actually, I want to keep shuffling, um, then check out the description box. Also, please keep in mind that whatever situation I talk about today could have already happened, be currently happening, or happen in the near future. So keep that in mind. I could be talking about the person you're connecting with now, or it could be connecting with in the future. So let's get into this, Scorpio. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio in regards to love for May 2020? What do they need to know? The world. So it looks like a cycle is ending here, coming to a close. I am gonna clarify all these. Someone's thinking about closing a chapter, starting fresh. The sun reversed. So something that possibly made you happy at one point is no longer 
making you happy or happiness is inconsistent is what I just heard. It's almost like some days are really good and other days are not. What else, Spirit? Some of you could be married or the person you're connecting with is married because I just saw someone here. I feel like this, this energy that I'm getting from this card, it's of someone who is like the proper husband, proper wife, um, trying to appear like you have control here, but I don't think you have. Four of Cups reversed. So this is someone who's had a change of heart or is interested in something again, something that they weren't interested in before, something that didn't appeal to them before. Someone's looking at it with new eyes. What else for Scorpio? I feel like you, uh, whoever I am connecting with, you were not happy, uh, not interested, checked out of something and um, something has changed for you. Strength, sign of Leo here. I got Leo twice with strength and the sun. You could be dealing with someone that has Leo in their chart. What I'm hearing here, what I'm seeing here is that someone's trying to control their emotions or get a handle on their emotions here. Uh, someone's trying to have courage. Tell me more spirit for Scorpio. I may. Princess of Swords Reverse. Page of Swords Reverse. This is someone who is a bad communicator. Uh, this is someone who could be harsh with their words and know it all. It could be somebody who twists the truth, AKA they lie about things or they refuse to speak honestly or truthfully about a situation. Three of swords reversed. Someone here is overcoming a painful situation. Something that possibly could have been a third party. And when I say third party, it doesn't have to be another person. It's just anything that interferes. Um, could be family, could be friends, could be work, could be finances. Um, but I'm seeing here someone who has overcome a painful situation. Someone who has begun to heal. What's at the bottom of the deck? The chariot. Beautiful. Sign of cancer. This is you moving forward, Scorpio. This is you changing direction, going on the right path here. Seeing a path and heading towards it. So let's clarify these. Spirit, help me clarify these messages for Scorpio. This is the Barbara Moore tarot deck. For Scorpio, please. Help me clarify these messages for Scorpio for May 2020. What does Scorpio need to know? Terrible shuffle. So I feel like some of you um, have your eye on something new. Your interest has been piqued. Um, something is appealing to you. An idea, a dream, an opportunity. Um, and I feel like if you weren't interested before, you are now. Tell me about the world. And this could be you or the person you are connecting with. Tell me about the world for Scorpio spirit. What's this about? The star, beautiful. Sign of Aquarius here. So I feel like you are feeling hopeful about a new beginning. Some of you are possibly healing or, or having some sort of renewal. Oh my gosh, what's happened? Hold on. Spirit, tell me more about the world for Scorpio. Strength reversed. So some of you possibly were feeling weak or defeated about a situation, but I feel like you're healing. You're finding hope in a new beginning. That's what I keep seeing. The magician reverse. Yeah, you weren't able to manifest something. Something was out of your control and you weren't able to manifest or create what you wanted to create. And I feel like you're trying to find hope elsewhere or um, seeing the potential of something else. 
bottom of the deck four of pentacles is this someone holding on to something here that they value this is someone who is paying attention to their finances right now um someone who doesn't want to let go of something here um could be a dream tell me about the sun reversed for scorpio Spirit, why is the sun reversed here for scorpio the moon reversed so revelations came to light a realization again um something was revealed something was realized here sign of pisces look at this six of swords page of cups someone's definitely leaving a situation possibly to make an offer or communicate something to someone regarding their emotions it's almost like someone's getting on this boat specifically to deliver a message so this could be you scorpio um this could be that someone came to deliver a message to you and it was a huge revelation or this could be that you are leaving and heading towards someone to make an offer of some sort or deliver a message of some sort bottom of the deck the full reverse this is someone who is taking a huge risk whoever is leaving this situation is taking a huge risk um possibly being a little reckless almost this is my like ethic card like nobody it's somebody that is over the restrictions over feeling like they have to wait for the perfect time it's just like i'm just gonna go for it that's the energy that i'm getting here you could be dealing with a um pisces or um a cancer or a scorpio here or a leo tell me more about this four of cups reverse what's this renewed interest about four of cups reverse please five of cups wow so i'm getting here that someone is renewed in some or has a renewed interest regarding the past something happened in the past that was very disappointing thank you to a sword reverse so someone's made a decision here they were stuck possibly um Unable to, uh, someone here was stuck or undecided about a situation that was very disappointing to them. This could have happened in the past. The Five of Cups for me is someone who is focused on the past. They're not able to really get over the past. They're still hurting over the past. So with the Two of Swords reversed here and the Five of Cups, I'm getting that someone was trying to make a decision about something that happened in the past that was disappointing. With the four of cups reverse i'm getting that someone has a renewed interest possibly regarding something from the past so for example if you broke up with someone it was very painful in the past right it was a very disappointing situation and so you kind of gave up on that but then years passed or time passed and um now someone wants to come back wants to renew this yeah look at this knight of wands aries leo sagittarius energy this is someone that wants to renew something here. Someone has, this Knight of Wands has had a change of heart. They were undecided, but they finally made a decision. And they want to fix something or come back or get something back that they lost. Yeah, look at this. Look at the, what's at the bottom of the deck. Six of Cups. This could be someone from the past wanting to come back or you wanting to renew something with the past. Wanting to heal something, wanting a new beginning with someone from the past. And it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be an ex. It could be anybody from your past, or it could be a past life connection with the Six of Cups. But I have a feeling that for most of you, you know this person. In some way, you know this person. You don't have to have been in a relationship with them, but you know of them. Tell me about the strength card. This is someone who's very passionate, the Knight of Wands, someone who is has a goal. Um, and they're 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 rapid or quickly trying to get to their destination. Tell me about strength. Okay, so we got the Empress reversed. Okay. Again, unable to create or manifest something here. Someone wanted something to work out to begin and it didn't it didn't happen for them. With the Empress Reverse, this is also someone who doesn't have the resources, doesn't have self-worth. This is someone who could be smothering or controlling with the Empress Reverse. Could be a mother or a wife. Um, tell me more about the strength card, please. Tell 
What's this about? Thank you. The chariot reversed. Yeah, someone here was stuck, unable to begin something, unable to move forward with someone here. I think it took strength to realize or, you know, someone had to, to take charge here and admit that something wasn't working, that they have to let go of something, that this isn't going anywhere. Tell me about the strength card, please, for Scorpio. Yeah, look at this, Ten of Wands. Someone needs to put down this burden of something that's not able to be manifested. If this is a person, this Empress Reverse, they're a terrible partner. You could be dealing with a cancer. Whatever the case, this was the wrong path here, wrong decision made here. Um, this was not going anywhere. Terrible direction here. Someone wants to put down this burden. They're over carrying this burden. They're feeling tired and overwhelmed here. I feel like they're trying to find the strength or the courage to really admit this. Yeah, Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Clarity. There's been clarity here. Someone's looking at things clearly, honestly. Tell me about this Page of Swords reversed. What's this about? This could also be a message or a communication that's intercepted or there's misunderstandings here, arguments. Tell me about Page of Swords reverse for Scorpio. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Someone has realized that they've wasted their time. Again, no growth. Bad investments. Someone has a lot of doubt as well. Tell me more about this Page of Swords reverse. King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This King of Cups has a lot of... Um, He's very mature, emotionally mature. Um, he's uh, compassionate. He has a lot of love to give, this King of Cups. Wow, there's a Six of Cups again. So I feel like there's been time that has passed here. A lot of time. This King of Cups is wondering if this is going to, if this message, if this communication is ever going to happen, if it's going to be accepted it's almost like they're worried that they're not going to be able to say the right thing that they're going to hurt someone with what they tell them or what you know it's almost like they're in in their mind they're thinking can i go back can i do this over can i fix this because this this could have happened in the past as well so, you know miscommunication um lies or or projections right like someone possibly assumed something about someone else as well bottom of the deck seven of swords reversed wow someone's being caught doing something here with the seven of swords reversed this is someone who possibly is avoiding a situation as well like completely trying to avoid a situation but unable to remember what i said in the beginning it's almost like someone's possibly been avoiding how they feel or lying to themselves here with the seven of swords self-deception here someone could have been lying to themselves about how they felt towards someone and something has happened here to make them realize that they can't avoid this forever wow ace of cups reversed two of cups reversed this is definitely a breakup or something that's happening to this person, possibly due to a revelation or someone getting caught. I feel like this King of Cups is realizing they wasted time with someone, possibly someone they have children with or someone that they thought was a soulmate. There were lies and deception here with the Seven of Swords. King of Wands reversed, Page of Swords reversed again, and Justice. Yeah, definitely. Someone here, someone here is really upset. This King of Wands reversed. They're really upset. They're they're being erratic, impulsive, um, tempers. There's probably been arguing and fighting, and then Justice. There could have been a divorce or just someone making a final decision to rebalance the situation. And look, Ace of Pentacles behind that. Interesting. So for some of you, this is this this could go two ways. The first um, scenario that I'm seeing is someone here who's realizing that there's been too much time that has passed. They're really worried about communicating. And then for others of you, this is someone who is going through a huge breakup. 
they're leaving a situation altogether due to secrets being revealed here. Um, someone could have been um, lying or cheating in the relationship that they were in. And they possibly had children with this person, but someone's making a final decision here. I have the chariot here. I have the six of swords. Someone wants to, and letting go. Someone needs, someone's thinking about letting this go completely. And they're overcoming their heartbreak. Tell me about this three of swords reversed. What's this three of swords reversed about? Spirit. For Scorpio. Look at that, the Hierophant reversed. I'm telling you, a completely broken commitment here. Now, if you're not with someone um, or, or the person you're with is not married or in a long-term commitment, this is possibly someone in your future who's, doing, who's going through this right now. Three of Swords reversed again. And Two of Wands. Yeah, exactly what I've been saying. Someone here is breaking a commitment, overcoming a painful situation and looking out at a different direction, a different path, the potential of something else. And I got the four of pentacles again. It's almost like this person is holding on to the idea of a new beginning for themselves. Yeah, look at that, the sun upright. This person is not letting go of what makes them happy or not not holding on to something that has no no value anymore. It's almost all they're thinking about is I need to be where I have something valuable, where I am happy, where I am appreciated, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I mean they're they're definitely this is movement here with the chariot and the knight of wands, six of swords. This is literally moving the world as well, travel. Someone's literally moving away from someone. And they try to do the right thing, but it just it couldn't come together. They have to let go of something that couldn't come together, that didn't have growth, didn't have potential. There was nothing here but disappointment, um, burdens, instability. Scorpio, I'll, live, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everyone who has liked, subscribed, and commented. Leave me a comment. If this resonated with you, I love to hear from you and I'll see you guys in another video. Take care.